Hey, what to do? What's up, you guys? Your girl Jira. Welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you for tuning in. I wanted to come and talk to you guys really fast about Love and Hip Hop Miami. I guess Atlanta didn't come on this week. That's what I was waiting on to just do them both together. But I guess they didn't come on, y'all. So we're gonna talk about Love and Hip Hop Miami. Um, I meant to do so, uh, not Salt Lake City. We're hot sauce in New York, but I'm not gonna get to it this week. It's already going on you know thursday so i'm not even gonna worry about it i'll just you know do a double up next week so like i said love hip hop miami actually gave us a pretty good episode y'all um prison plats that's that's been his name since day doubt for me prison plats if y'all have been watching my reviews y'all know that it's fabo i need him off my tv screen i need him out of shay's life shay needs him out of shay's life and don't really want to accept it yet but we gonna talk about it um why in here in a second so if you're new to my channel i appreciate you for tuning in uh you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's free 99 and go touch your bank account everybody else who's already part of the juice box crew y'all know what to do go ahead and drop down in the comments let me know what you stop by make sure to hit that thumbs up button you guys get some interaction going on my channel um so we can continue to grow all right we are on the way to 4k all right 4,000 subscribers all right y'all so we open up the episode with shay talking to her mom Y'all know that they have garnered like a closer friendship, not, not a friendship, but a closer relationship. Um, because before last season, y'all, they was talking to Miss Yanla and Shay's mama was not having it. She was not really trying to accept her faults in the relationship as most parents, you know, refuse to do. But now that the baby is here, um, she is, um, you know, trying her best to be involved, which therefore causes the relation, the, the, the topic of the dog coming up that the mom is taking care of because the mom has been dude, uh, you know, um, favored upon to as to take care of the dog while she has the baby because guess who don't like the dog? Shocker, Fabo. He don't like the dog, and so they're kind of using it as a, oh, well, like, let's just give us a year, you know, give us a year. When she turns a year old, we'll take the we'll take the dog back just so we can get, a, you know, adjusted to the baby and things like that. So now the mom is like, <laughs> tick-tock, it's been a year. Your dog should have been gone, like, yesterday, you know? And so she's like, well, I need to talk to Phil about it. First of all, Shay... Here, let's get something straight. This is one thing that really, I really want more women to start doing. Stop giving men the entitlement to your life that don't deserve it. He deserves no type of authority or say in your life, especially being it as the fact that this man can't even put a fucking ring on your finger after 10 years and a goddamn baby. He can't even marry you after 10 years and a baby. But yet, what's to feel entitled to now all of a sudden move down to Miami and tell you, well, if I'm here, the dog going to be gone? Out of here, bro. Out of here. Shay, like most women, unfortunately, I just feel, you know, are in the era of just like not really valuing themselves. Not really actually do mess with Shay. Um, I can tell she has a good heart. Um, but she... she she, she need help, okay? She, I hope she's continuing therapy, if not with Iyama, somebody else, uh, or, or continue therapy because the allowance of a man with prison plats to tell you, you can't have your dog, the dog that was here before him, this man just now moved to the residence this year. So this dog was here before him, from my understanding. So if that dog was here before him, he definitely ain't gonna have no say. For real, for real. And me get rid of a dog. Like, let's get out of here, bro. I feel like he wanna use the, the baby as a scapegoat for why um, he don't want the dog around. But my guess is that dog don't like him. That's what I really feel like. It's given the dog don't like him. The dog bark at him when he walk in the door. And he don't wanna deal with it, nor do he like it. And he wanted to find an easy way to get rid of the dog. And Shay, you give him too much leeway for a man, like I said, who can't even do the bare minimum of giving you a commitment. So, yeah, the mom was like, I don't like him. I don't like his ass. I don't like him. Like, she do not like Fable. And mama, you along with the rest of us. We don't give a good guy dang about that man, him and his prison plats. Um, so, moving on. 
Ray J, he meets up with Trick. Uh, it ain't tricking if you got it, what you asking? Um, so Ray J meet up with, with Trick Daddy Dollars and Trick basically fill him in on the mess that Marlon, you know, was hitting on, hitting on Joy. He was like, yeah, Bobby old miss ass. <laughs> he said, Bob old miss ass came up to me talking about, oh, Marlo, Marlo, Marlon gave uh, Joy some flowers, some, some, some flowers, okay? And so he's like, I know, you know, I'm feeling some type of way. And so Ray J, he immediately get triggered because he's thinking back on the time that when, you know, Prinky, you know, whenever, when everybody felt like Prinky was single, you know, him and his voice, when Prinky was single, you know, they try to holler at my girl. And so Ray J, you really have the audacity to feel like, shouldn't nobody holler at Prinky when y'all was in the midst of going through a divorce, like cut it out. But he's like, nah, man, we can't have that in the bro circle. We can't have that, you know. We need to go check Marlon, you know, because, you know, this is bro code. You know, this is bro code. Trick, he feel like, man, you know, they want us, um, oh, I know what it was. Ray J also filled him in on the fact that, you know, uh, Princess Finally's here in Miami. Trick talking about, oh, you know, they want us to communicate how they communicate and act like how they act. And it's like, no, we want you to have fucking common sense. That's, that's what we want you to have. Like, we want you to be considerate, have empathy, understanding for the fact that I done popped out two to three of your goddamn babies and I have a life outside of you and these kids that I would like you to be supportive of. But men don't know how to be supportive of women because it includes them having to take part in taking care of the kids. And they don't like doing that because society tells them that's not their job. But really, it is because it took two of us to make this baby. Not one, but uno, dos. But back to it, uh, what I was saying of um, uh, Ray J basically convinces Trick like, yo, hey, we're going to pull up on Marlon and check him out this Joy situation because this is crazy. And, and Trick, he confused because he like, like, dang, like, Joy got me confused because, like, I mean, she won't talk about me, but this dude, he done had sex with his, his wife's sister. Like, yo, like, I, I mean, I'm a dirty dog, but his, the wife's sister, like, that's a def, definitely a, a different level of Jerry Springer, y'all. <laughs> um, so moving on, um, I think this is when Amada La Negra. She's doing like a little ad or whatever. And, you know, she gets a call from her, I'm guessing, manager or PR person. And she's like, you know, I've been I've been noticing the quality of my promotions have been going down, you know. And I just really hope it's not because I'm with Safari. Like, I just really want to be able to live my own life, you know. And so she, you know, get a call from the lady. And she basically was like, look now. Okay, look, I was getting ready to, to get you a deal with a movie, but girl, I ain't even gonna lie to you. The fact that you with Safari is cutting into the coin. And Amara, all she wants to feel like is, it's my life, it's my life. Why does anybody care about my personal life? I just wanna do what makes me happy. And it's like, who you're in a relationship with is a reflection of you to some extent. It just is. Um, and Amara, you got to understand, Safari don't got a good name out here in these streets. He's a womanizer. He's mentally, emotionally abusive. He's a deadbeat to his kids. He's a cheater. Like, people don't look at that and think, oh, the woman that's with him, we want to do business with her. You know, we want her to be the inspiration to other women because a lot of women most of the time when they pick women for promotion is because they see a representation in her to be an inspiration to other women. A moderate, ain't nobody looking at you in a relationship with Safari and thinking, ooh, that's an inspiration to me. I want to be just like her. Really? No. Absolutely the not. Okay? So yeah, like you all, you would think it's my personal life. Like, what who am I in a relationship with got to do with anything? And it's like, girl, do we really want to do, do, do you really want to go there?
first of all, it just shows how delusional you are. It really, like, delu-lu for the fact that you even think you can be with this man and get something different. As shout out to Erica De Niro say, a different dining experience. Because it ain't going to happen. But, yeah, she was talking to the lady. And so she felt some type of way that now her bag is getting affected. And, you know, she got twins to take care of, y'all. Twins. Um, so moving on. Um, I'm trying to think of the order of everything went. I can't remember the order, but... Oh, Suki. So, Suki, she is with uh, a friend, a sister, a cousin, something. She is um, uh, meditating, essentially. And she basically is talking about how she's feeling some type of way, especially with Bobby. He was coming for her. She feel like he, you know, he had an asshole, okay? As the Miami say, pussy asshole. <laughs> I love how Miami is say that, like... Like, pussy, okay. So, um, yeah, she's not liking Bobby, you know, and then she's feel like him and Tip was making fun of her and everything like that. And, you know, at that time, she was trying to be elevated. But, girl, how you talking about being elevated when I just see you crawling on the floor at the VMAs? Like, get it together. Which one is it? Like, you, you can't be decide you want to be up here, but your actions is down here, Sukiana. And I really mess with you, boo. But she basically started talking about, too, how she now got to confront Mama D because Mama D now is coming for her and talking about, oh, she fat and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And Sukiana's like, you know, like, she really, I, Sukiana is very sensitive. Um, people who usually are rowdy at the, you know, at the, at the, at the, at the mouth, get, get the real, can be super vicious at the mouth. It's because, you know, they, that's how they back people up off them, Okay. But deep down, they're really sensitive. Um, and she said it hurt her feelings that Mama D said that. Um, not only that, Mama D had something to say about the fact that she was out here, you know, busting it wide open and getting hit from the bike, apparently, with her OnlyFans. And Sukiya said, girl, you ain't, you ain't gonna shame me on my own tea. I got kids to take care of. I got things. I barely had a place to live. So, you know what pays the bills? <laughs> Coochie. Coochie ain't never not paid the bills for a woman if she needed to be. But they say so, skip plates, all right? Skip <laughs> fish plates, all right? And so, Sukiana chose the latter, all right? That wet wet, that she said, I'm Sukiana with a good coochie, and I'm going to use this coochie, all right? Because bills got to get paid. Uh, but Mama D, you really, you really, really, like, you really, really feel like you got a leg to stand on with talking about anybody? Like, Mama D, like just baffles me sometimes with the audacity that she feels like she has to be able to talk about women um but she's like yeah i might see her at uh at shay's baby shower because she invited me you know we've been you know uh getting cool and i know she cool mama d so you know i wonder how that's gonna go basically um so amala negra she confronts safari and she see like he walk in and she he like hey she like hey he said, well, that was, you know, dry. And she's like, yo, you affected my business, homeboy. You know, like, people is dropping like flies, and it's got a lot to do with you. And he's like, man, man, that, that's 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 a bunch of crock. That's cap. And she's like, no, it's not. She's like, I care about my appearance, you know, on social media and then what you post. First of all, she was already hurt by the fact that he, you know, was basically, he likes the clickbait of it all. So he was with that dude that's like a a, 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 a food crit, a food critic or whatever. And the dude asked about, oh, what, oh, what's the one that got away? And he's like, you know, it is one girl. And he's like, oh, how long are we all together? And he was like, you know, 10 years plus. And we all know the only person he's been with that long was Nikki. So he was like, I, you know what I hate? I hate when I'm with a girl and she, you know, uh, takes social media and tries to use that in a relationship or whatever. Like, you got to understand that's business. What I put do on my social media, like, it is what it is. So, basically, he's admitting to just doing what needs to be done. He likes the clickbait of it all. He does. He's like, it's entertainment purposes. Like, Safari just lacks all morality. But what Amara is saying, okay, and what? But you're still not considering the fact that I'm with you and you're doing and saying stuff like this. For you, yeah, it's just a part of your brand and entertainment for other people, but it's not entertainment for me as a woman who's supposed to be with you and you still talking about the one that allegedly got away. Like, you're not thinking outside outside of yourself, Safari. So, 
um she was like yeah you what you really should, you know you should probably be thinking about your brand too as well like cleaning up for yourself because i mean safari at the end of the day people don't really f's with you like that and i know you are trying to play into like the bad boy act and trying to play into the you know you don't care what people have to say and you know bad press is good press when it comes to you but i like deep down men like safari they really just lack all ethics and morals simply for the fact is because they don't like the responsibility that comes with having ethics and morals they don't like the responsibility that comes with it and the accountability that's necessary for it so they don't do it and they they know deep down it actually makes them less of a man to not be able to stand up to that standard so they would rather just go balls to the wall and being the devil basically versus actually trying to make the effort to change and being better man. They just would rather self-destruct. That, that's really what it is. They would rather just self-destruct. Um, and so you see he's kind of done that with Erica. You know, basically detonated the bomb over there with Erica and by proxy karma the universal karma is coming to you so for real for real but amarda she was just like over it and he basically was like man you gonna act like this i'm not gonna go to the baby shower with you and he walked out the door but amara i don't know what she was thinking feel like this man was gonna be any different to you like we are we already know about it got questionable you know uh taste in men because you got with a dude who had a baby by a man who literally couldn't even like be there for you and was all, all half away the world around the world in the Dominican Republic while you was taking care of your daughters and he ain't nowhere to be found like girl Amara you and Shay y'all best friends the two dodo birds for me dodo birds for dicks um that need to really figure out what the f is going on with y'all why y'all keep picking terrible men terrible terrible okay um so yeah um moving on um prinky and ray j <laughs> ray j and prinky they outside he's like you know this is the life i really wanted you know i got ray princess out here with the kids you know and she's trying to do her thing getting into like the poker championship or whatever but he started bringing up the princess basically how you know him and tree gotta confront marlon because marlon was trying to you know pick up on uh, on joy and joy is obviously the homeboy is you know ex-wife whatever and so prince is like you really invested in this ain't you you know you triggered much and he was like man you know how I, you know with you and we wasn't was going through our things on the mean i was trying to get at you and of course they do the flashback and basically you know anytime a woman finally decides she wants to get with with one nigga one compared to your six umpteenth women that you was out here lollygagging with around my uh, behind my back while i stayed at home watching the kids boy i tell you these dudes be having their chest hurt when a woman finally decides she want to get her lick back and the only way that he could justify was oh strippers and prostitutes don't count that alone would have would have sent me that alone would have the lack of respect prostitutes and trippers don't count it almost makes it worse because you dudes y'all really be throwing away y'all's whole legacy and empire for women that y'all are constantly telling us don't mean nothing she don't mean nothing but it's costly enough to make you throw away your whole family the logic but yeah she was like the, this is real funny how you just real invested in this situation sorry i was looking out by the driveway real invested in this situation and you know you <laughs> you um i just think back on ray jane like that whole situation she had one compared to your umpteenth of women like the, just the blasphemy um and so we're just like yeah we gonna run up on marlon you know because we can't we can't have it in 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 the group we can't have it you know in a group of us men like that you know we just we just don't we just can't get like that oh now all of a sudden you want to have morals and ethics ray j boy get out of here she was just looking at him like man nigga you ain't finna do shit <laughs> so 
um, speaking of Ray J and Trick, they go pull up on Marlon, and you know, Trick, tr I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna, yo, I ain't wanna talk to Marlon like that, you know. But he, he kind of find out, I guess. Flo is cousins with Snoop's uh, wife or whatever. Um, and so they sit down and basically he like, yo, Marlon, I heard you trying to, you trying to throw it at, you know, try to throw it at, at Joy. That's my woman. We still legally married. And Marlon basically in his confessional admitted to possibly wanting more with Joy. But in front of them was like, nah, nah, you know, you know, where I'm from, we give flowers to ladies that, you know, we, you know, we find sweet and, you know, we, we appreciate them because, you know, she was really there for me when I was going through my stuff, you know, with, with Flo and Trick was like, yeah, well, we only give people the flowers to the dead and girls we got crushes on, I think is what he said. So, and not over here, Marlon, he, he backpedaled and coochie popped off of it, uh, in front of Trick Daddy Dollars and Ray J, but we know deep down that he is going to try to play the long game with Joy. And the fact that Joy, you even been there for this man in the midst of his divorce over a mess that he created, that he himself created. Joy, are you really that type of woman? We thought being with Trick Daddy Dollars would have taught you a lesson, but really, Marlon, he ate a girl out on a pool table. Joy. Joy and pain. <laughs> right now it's just pain. <laughs> Stay with me, y'all. Pain. <laughs> um uh, so yeah, so moving on, we finally get to the end of the episode with uh the baby shower, and Shay is um, you know, there, everything is beautiful, pretty first but first, you know, the first year birthday or whatever, uh no, birthday. Not a baby shower. It was a birthday party. And so, Mama D and Suki, you know, they meet. You know, Shay's like, obviously, y'all got to talk. And so, Sukiana basically checks Mama D and was like, girl, you really hurt my feelings, one. Two, for you to really have to think that you got the nerve to say something to me, girl, with your old pimp, loose lip ass. Like, you got something to say to me, girl. You used to be a pimp. And the reason that your son treat women the way he do is because of you. And so, of course, her and Mama D go back and forth. Suki checked Mama D. Mama D thought that she was going to slam or something back. Oh, you know, don't maybe get my old pimp ways out. You know, hoes like you, I ate for lunch type stuff. And it's like, Mama D, like, it really is the audacity of Mama D. Like, she is the Lulu. Like, your son really does treat women the way he does because of you. Like, for real, for real. He watched you pimp women out and disrespect them. And you go sit over there and talk to Shay like, oh, you know, uh, I wanted you to be with Scrappy. And Shay was like, Mama D, I had to distance myself because at the end of the day, Scrappy wasn't getting his shit together by any means of the word. So no, I couldn't be with your, with your effed up ass son. No. While he over there messing around with Diamond, Diamond's still trying to convince herself she's not a mistress. Okay. Um, but yeah. So Suki and Mama D have it out and we still wait for Fabo. Um, he finally showed up two and a half hours late, but he got a Tesla, so all is forgiven. But did y'all notice what he said? Oh, I know, I know, I know you all thought the ring and such, but you know, let's go, let's, let's go take it by steps. Steps? What do you mean steps? You all, will you, now you want to go in the order of steps? You got a baby with this woman. Steps is all out of whack. What the, 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 the I cannot. And Shay just, uh, Falling out and stuff. Uh, I can't. Mama D pulled him to the side. Was like, you know, I did want Shay to be with my son. They was like, hey, 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 all right, yeah, okay. You you wanted them to be together, but it ain't. I don't give a damn about none of that. She with me now, Daddy. My problem. Hey, his Jamaican said, I ain't not me, not no problem, okay. Um, and Mama D was like, she was kind of throwed off, I think. Um, so yeah, he got the. He got the test and whatnot, but you know how men do this. They buy every other thing but the ring, you know, to buy themselves some time. Um, so mama pulls Faye up to the side and was like, you know, you was late. And I guess I'll let it slide because you came with a gift. But what about this motherfucking dog, though? And so he like, I mean, the dog, you know, he need to hit a near nor there. You know, she not coming to the house, no. You would not be coming to the house, no. 
And she's like, look, I agreed to a year. I just gonna say why you don't like the dog. And he was like, well, I do respect my little, that dog. <laughs> he said, that dog. <laughs> and so MJ was like, look, I try not to interfere with my sister, but now you disrespecting my mama now. And so he's like, if you drop that dog off, you know, you're going to be responsible because it's going to be walking around these streets. And she's like, well, I want the dog. And so he like, well, to the shelter it goes then, I guess. And so MJ's like, nah, nah, I'd bring the dog my damn self, you know. And so him and MJ start going back and forth. Shay got to get involved. MJ start knocking over candles. First of all, MJ, you need to control your anger. He literally does have anger issues. Like, He's like one of those simmer, like it's right below the surface, uh, right under that sweetness is that burning lava that just is ready to erupt. Um, he looked like he punched holes in a wall. That's the type of nigga he is, punch holes in a wall. Um, and so it's like, nigga, you hitting stuff and you ain't paid for none of this, okay? And I know them hats ain't selling like that for you to try to uh, replace this crystal, so you better stop it. Um, Fabo is on prison plats um Shay gotta push it back to the side or whatever and it, it just all erupts and it's like Fabo like he really is just Shay want better for yourself really want better for yourself I'm watching you beg for a man to marry you that literally has told you with his words F his actions his words he quietly said don't lie to me why are you trying to rush me into that you know and rush Nick, we going on 11 years and we got a baby together. What do you mean, Rush? Like, Shay, he's telling you he don't want to be married to you. And you're like, oh, you got 365 days, girl. That year going to come and went and you still going to be looking at your hand empty. Oh, Shay, I pray for you, girl. I pray for you and I'm out of the nigga because that is just, y'all just, I really feel bad for y'all because I know that's from a place of just, just lack on the inside but yeah you guys love to hit by miami y'all tell me what you think what y'all feel about mama d and suki going back and forth what y'all feel about fabo coming with a tesla um how y'all feel about the dog what's the reason y'all feel like he won't he don't like the dog i feel like that dog and nipped his finger or, or bark at him or something that's why he don't like that dog um and yeah what you guys think about mj like what's y'all what y'all thought process on mj uh and yeah you guys i appreciate y'all for tuning in i'll catch you next time